Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's no better place to find encouragement than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me uh, invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word, the Holy Bible. Turn with me over to Psalm number 139. Today I want us to look at Psalm 139, verse number 8, as our text verse of Scripture. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness, there's just not a better way to start a new day than fresh coffee, and more important than that, a fresh word from God. Well, friend, over in the book of Psalms, Psalm 139, verse number 8, listen to what the Bible says here. If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in the hell, behold, thou art there. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his precious word today. Today, I want to bring to you a thought that uh, I've titled, uh, You Can Know What God Is Like. You Can Know What God Is Like. You know, my friend, whenever we begin to think about this text verse of Scripture, we serve a God that is an ever-present God. When you get saved by the grace of God, he has promised to never leave you nor to ever forsake you. A lot of times we may go into places that we ought not to go into, and uh, we think that we're going in there all alone. But when you're saved by the grace of God, the Holy Ghost of God is taking up residence in your heart and in your life. Friend, we can't pull God off and put him in a box whenever we go into places that we wouldn't want to carry him. So the best thing that I can say to you is don't go into places uh, that you wouldn't carry the Lord Jesus. But I want to get right back to my topic. You can know what God is like. Friend, I believe with all of my heart that it's possible to know what God is like. Really, I do. In fact, the Bible declares that God is a spirit and that he's not limited to a body like we are. He's not limited to shape whatsoever. He's not limited to force. He's not limited to boundaries. Uh, He's absolutely immeasurable. Uh, Thousands of people are trying to limit God to certain spheres and relegate him to certain categories that are the product of their own imaginations and speculations. Friends, listen to me today. There are no limits to God whatsoever. There are no limits to his wisdom. There are no limits to his power. There are no limits to his love. And there are no limits to his mercy. Men change. Fashions change. Conditions and circumstances change, but God never changes. In fact, the Bible makes it very clear that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever in Hebrews 13, 8. Yes, my friend, we can know what God is like whenever we make him Lord of our life because we experience his wisdom. We experience his power. We experience his love. We experience his grace. We experience his mercy. And he is a God who is nothing but pure love. The Bible says God is love. And you don't really know love until you know God. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much for reminding us that we can know what you are like. And the way to know what you are like is to make you Lord of our life because it's then that we experience what you are like. 
Oh God, I pray for the one who needs to know more about what you are like. And God, may they get to know you personally today. And for that one who knows you and know what you're like, bless them, oh God, to live in such a way that their life will be a blessing to others because people will be able to see Jesus in their lives. For I make my prayer in his name, the Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you, my friend. I do pray that you'll have a good and a wonderful day today. Share the love of God out in this old dark world. Uh, encourage people today by letting people see Christ in your life. In all you say and in all that you do, let people hear Jesus. Have a great day.